Erwin Schrödinger, one of the great minds behind quantum mechanics, was not just a physicist but a philosopher deeply influenced by the ancient wisdom of Vedanta. His work and reflections offer a fascinating bridge between the complex world of quantum theory and the profound spiritual teachings of Vedanta, particularly its triad of Atman, Brahman and Maya. This triad, representing the individual self, the ultimate reality and the cosmic illusion, finds a striking resonance in Schrodinger's understanding of the universe. At the heart of Vedantic philosophy lies Brahman, the ultimate reality that is infinite, eternal and beyond all dualities. Brahman is the source of all existence, described as Sat Chit Ananda, existence, consciousness and bliss. In quantum mechanics, Schrodinger perceived a similar concept within the unified field, where all possibilities exist simultaneously until they are observed. This holistic reality, where the universe is interconnected at its deepest level, mirrors the idea of Brahman as the undifferentiated ground of all being. Just as Brahman transcends the multiplicity of the material world, the wave function in quantum theory transcends the classical notion of distinct, separate entities, revealing a reality where everything is fundamentally interconnected. In Vedanta, the individual self or soul is known as Atman, Atman is not separate from Brahman, but is, in fact, Brahman manifesting within the individual. Schrodinger famously encapsulated this profound truth with the equation Atman equals Brahman, suggesting that the individual consciousness is fundamentally identical to the universal consciousness. For him, the apparent separation between individuals is Maya, an illusion, a perspective strikingly similar to the concept of quantum entanglement where particles remain interconnected regardless of distance. Schrodinger's insight aligns perfectly with Vedantic thought, just as particles are not isolated but part of a larger unified field, all consciousness is interconnected, reflecting the unity of Atman and Brahman. The true nature of the self is not individual or isolated, it is part of the universal whole. However, the perception of separateness and multiplicity that veils this unity is the work of Maya, in Vedanta, Maya is the cosmic illusion that creates the appearance of duality and diversity in the world. It is the force that causes individuals to perceive themselves as separate from each other and from Brahman, thereby obscuring the underlying oneness of reality. Schrodinger recognized a parallel between Maya and the way quantum mechanics challenges our classical understanding of reality. The idea that reality is not as it seems, that particles exist in superposition, that observation affects the observed, echoes the Vedantic idea that what we perceive through our senses is not the ultimate truth but an illusion shaped by Maya. The relationship between Atman, Brahman and Maya is at the core of Vedantic philosophy and Schrodinger's insights into quantum mechanics and consciousness enrich this understanding. According to Vedanta, the deepest truth is that Atman and Brahman are one. This non-duality is obscured by Maya which creates the illusion of individuality and separation. Schrodinger's assertion that Atman equals sign Brahman is a direct acknowledgement of this unity, emphasizing that the essence of consciousness in every individual is the same universal reality. His understanding of the interconnectedness of all things in quantum mechanics supports this idea, revealing that just as quantum theory shows that particles are part of a unified field, Vedanta teaches that all individual selves are expressions of the same universal consciousness. Maya, in this context, is the force that creates the illusion of duality. Brahman, in its purest form, is beyond all distinctions and forms, but through the power of Maya, it appears as the diverse and manifold world. Schrodinger's recognition of the limits of human perception and the illusory nature of classical physics might lead us to see Maya as analogous to the veil that prevents us from seeing the quantum reality, where all is interconnected and non-separate. In both Vedanta and Schrodinger's philosophy, the perceived duality is an illusion. Maya creates the appearance of separateness and multiplicity, just as classical physics creates the illusion of a deterministic separate reality that quantum mechanics reveals as interconnected and probabilistic. This illusion of separateness caused by Maya leads individuals to see themselves as separate, distinct entities rather than as expressions of the same universal consciousness. Schrodinger's philosophical view aligns with this. He saw individual consciousness as a manifestation of a single universal consciousness and the belief in separateness as a fundamental misunderstanding 
akin to the illusion created by Maya. However, through deeper understanding, whether through science or spiritual practice, one can transcend this illusion. By realizing that Atman is Brahman, one overcomes the illusion of separateness, which is central to both Vedantic enlightenment and Schrodinger's philosophical perspective on consciousness. In summary, Schrodinger's insights offer a profound connection between modern physics and ancient Vedantic philosophy. Brahman, the ultimate reality, is reflected in the holistic interconnected reality suggested by quantum mechanics. Atman, the individual self, is recognized as fundamentally identical to Brahman, with Schrodinger's equation, Atman equals sign, Brahman capturing this essential unity. Maya, the illusion of duality and multiplicity, finds its physical manifestation in the way it conceals the behavior of particles as probabilities until measured. Schrodinger's work and reflections provide a compelling bridge between science and spirituality, revealing that both seek to uncover the deeper unified reality that lies beneath the surface of apparent separateness and duality. Through this synthesis, we gain a richer understanding of the nature of reality, consciousness, and the ultimate unity of all existence.